Good morning to the respected principal, teachers and parents and my dear friends. I am Alina from class 7 studying in Talapadmavati International School. On this great day, I wish you a happy Gandhi Jayanti. Today, I will speak on Mahatma Gandhiji. Mahatma Gandhiji was born on born on 2nd October 1969 in Porbandar, Gujarat in a Hindu family. His father Karamchand Gandhi was chief minister Divan of Porbandar. He was the greatest freedom fighter. He is also called father of nation or Rashtrapita. He always wore a simple dhoti made from kadi. He believed in simple living and high thinking. He started non-cooperation and non-violence movements to gain freedom from British rule. Under his able guidance, India became free on 15th August 1947. This great leader of our country died on 30th January 1948. People from all religions loved him and respect him. Once again, I wish you happy Gandhi Jayanti. Thank you. Hi, my name is Bali Kritika Raj from grade 6 from Talapadmavati International School. Leader is the one who knows the way, who goes the way and shows the way. I am talking about such a great personality who plays an important role in giving our country freedom from British rule. He is none other than Mahatma Gandhi ji, father of our nation. Today, I am going to tell 10 teachings of Mahatma Gandhi ji. Number 1. Live to the fullest. He should do all the activities, all interesting activities like playing, reading, whatever we like. Number 2. Always speak the truth. We should never lie. Number 3. Let the change begin from you. Number 4. Believe in love. We should love and respect everyone. Number five, think before you act. Before doing anything, we should always think. Number six, live to learn. Enjoy every moment learning. Number seven, be positive. If we fail, we should try. We should be positive and try again. Number eight, learn to forgive. We should learn to forgive. Don't take revenge. If you forgive, you feel happy. Number nine, be true to yourself. Do whatever if you feel right. Number ten, care for nature. Nature has given us so many things. You should look after the nature and take environmental friendly steps. These are the 10 teaching things of Gandhi Ji. Let's implement from today. Happy Gandhi Jayanti to all. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe. Jai Hind. Hi friends. On account of Gandhi Jayanti, I owe you salutation for Father of our nation. O Tho, Father of the nation. We owe you salutation for each and everything that you did for the cause of the nation and freedom's seed for the wheel called Charka, the steering of Swadeshi, for the drive of Chalejav to expel Videshi, for the teachings of truth, non-violence, and peace for the messages of cleanliness and patience against these guide though for listening not seeing not speaking not an evil still one of us only 
dare you kill gone might be you but not your thoughts forever they will inspire like lustrous poets therefore o oh, thou father of the nation we owe you salutation we lustrous of with lustrous of heart of hundred plus crores from the peak of himalayas to the ocean's roars o thou father of the nation we owe you salutation we owe you salutation thank you friends have a good day Hi everyone my name is Akshaya I am studying 6th standard in Tala Padmavati International School as you all know on October 2nd 1869 our father of nation Mahatma Gandhi was born this day is also known as Gandhi Jayanti in India and non violence day in United States of America if i was Gandhi I would remove reservations on caste basis and implement the same reservation for poor people and talented people by giving them free education. If I was Gandhi, I would give free medical facility to all the people irrespective of caste and social status. If I was Gandhi, I would make corruption india free and give awareness to people to keep india clean and green to implement all these i would sacrifice my life to the nation thank you everyone wish you i wish you happy gandhi jayanti hello everyone an account of gandhi jayanti I say a few words about his education. Gandhi's education was met with challenges right from elementary school up to college. He received his primary education in the city of Porbandar in 1887. He completed his high school education from Alfred High School Rajkot. In 1888 he enrolled in some Samaladas Art College to study degree but he changed his decision and decided to study in England in 1888 he joined the University College London and complete his law degree Mahatma Gandhi is considered one of the most iconic and influential figures in the world Gandhi ji managed to learn and respect the molar principles from school despite these challenges he successfully reached his goal and inspired many people around the world thank you hi i am neha prayer no we are performing and blows day in which yusuf of grade 9 is acting as gandhi ji and ashok grade is acting as a child and me Neha Prene is acting as a parent. Oh, it's too sweet, Jagri. Again, you are in January. I told not to eat Jagri, right? I told thousand times you that not to eat Jagri. I scolded you even. But again, you are in January. Sorry, ma. I love to eat this. Please, it is last time. Gandhi ji, did you find the solution? Don't eat Jagri, beta. What? So telling this, you told us to wait one week. So, do you know why did Gandhi ji tell my mother to wait for eight days? Because Gandhi ji also loves and has a habit of eating jaggery. So, in these eight days, Gandhi ji corrected himself and reduced eating jaggery. So, after that, after eight days, we gave him a hymn and he told not to eat jaggery. So he corrected himself and said to us, "Thank you." Good morning to all. My name is Aisha Firdaus, and I am from Tala Padmavati International School, from Grade Nine. Every year on the second October, we celebrate Gandhi Jayanti, and 
on the occasion of gandhi jayanti i would like to share some movement which is used by sir gandhi ji and uh, these movements were used to make our country a freedom country and the first movement by the gandhi ji was champaran movement in 1917 the reason behind it was the introduction of synthetic dye demand of indigo decreased which led zamindar or planters to shed off their bandars by the increasing the rent burdens of peasants which added to the existing plight of the peasants next one is the kheda movement which is done by 1918 and the reason behind it was the patel and his collegials organized a major tax revolt and all the different ethnicities and caste communities of kheda rallied around it and the peasants of kheda signed a petition calling for a tax for the year year in the wake of famine the government in the bombay rejected the characters the next one is khalifa movement which is done in 1919 and the main reason behind it is a protest against the sanction placed on the caliphs and the ottoman empire after the first world war by treating the of the serb the movement collapsed by the late 1992 when tukre gained a more favorable diplomatic position moved towards a secularism by 1920 and the tukre signed abolished the rule of caliphs and the next one is a non cooperation movement which is done in the year 1920 and the reason behind it is the non cooperation movement aimed to challenge the colonial economic and the power structure and british authorities would be forced to be we take a notice of the demand of independence movement gandhi ji call was for the nation wide protest against the royal act act and the next one is civil disobedience movement dandi march in 1930 the reason behind it was civil disobedience movement was launched because the british made an unjustice law in which could be arrested without a trial and the last movement is quit india movement which is done in 1920 and the reason behind it is quit india movement was gandhi ji dislike of return of crips returning to the british government draft declaration also after the fearnism satyagraha that was a more individual oriented gandhi ji gave a call for do or die also congress leaders thank you hello everyone i am amanda from grade 7 from tala padmavati international school on the occasion of gandhi jayanti i want to share the method of non violence by gandhi mahatma gandhi advocates of non violence is closely connected to his to his attitude towards means and ends according to him non violence is the means and the truth is the end both are so interviewed with each other that is it is part particularly impossible to separate or ditch them they are two like sides gandhi understood non violence from its sankranti root hasim hasim is just translate to man non violence in english but it implies more than just a voice of physics violence thank you have a nice day good good morning to everyone i am sir mr roy studying 9th standard in talapadmavati international school i am very glad to inform you that we are celebrating gandhi jayanti on october 2nd every year today i want to share the childhood memory of gandhi ji mohandas karamchand gandhi was very shy in his childhood as soon as school bell rang he used to collect his books and hurry to home while other boys sat and stop on the way to play but he always went straight to home 
One day, the inspector of school, Mr. James, came to their school. He read out five English words to to the class and asked the boys to write down them. Gandhi ji wrote four words correctly, but he could not spell the fifth word kicked. Seeing his hesitation, the teacher made a sign behind the inspector's back to copy the word from his neighbor's slate, but he ignored his sign. The other boys wrote all the words correctly. He could he wrote only four words correct. Later the teacher scolded him for not copying. He felt very bad. The teacher who who should teach good habits wanted him to cheat. Thank you. Hello everyone. Myself Arjun Verma. I am studying 6th grade in TPIS. On account of Gandhi Jayanti, I am going to deliver a speech about non-violence in Gandhiji's version. I welcome you all, all of you. Let us begin by being clear about non-violence. Some people sacrifice their lives for freedom fight. I praise such courage. I want such courage because in this cause I am prepared to die. But my friend, there is no cause I'm prepared to kill. Whatever they do to us, we will attack no one, kill no one. They will, but we will not get, give up, not one of us. They will imprison us, they will fine us, they will seize our possessions, but we will not we, they cannot take our self-respect unless we give it to them. I want you to fight. To fight against the anger, not to provoke it. We will pause. We will not strike a blow. They may torture my body, break my bones, even kill me. But then they will have only my dead body, but not my obedience. Thank you.